Hey, it's Mike Menza from The Roots of Rhythm. Today I'm excited. We have a super rare 1965 vintage Cardinal Red Firebird 3. Look at this. Have you ever seen this? Come on now. They were trying to compete with Fender, trying to get a really cool design. Wasn't sure if it was gonna work out. Little bit outrageous for those days, but I mean, look at them now. They're about the coolest thing you've ever seen. A little outrageous for those days, but little did they know was going to be one of the coolest looking guitars in the history of rock and roll. We're talking about Johnny Winter played these guitars, the Rolling Stones, Stephen Stills, Eric Clapton. Everyone had to have a cool looking guitar like this right here. So you'll notice something unique about this guitar. It has a reversed body and it has a reverse headstock. Now, between the years of 1963 and 1965, this occurred, the reverse body and the reverse headstock. And during those days, it was expensive to make these guitars, and it wasn't a big hit. So after that, they went to the regular body, the regular headstock. Listen, what's really awesome about this guitar is that it's in a custom color. In those days, 90% of the guitars were a mahogany sunburst, mahogany wood, and it was so incredibly rare to have these wild custom colors, I think beautiful colors. In this case, it was a cardinal red. Look at that finish. I mean, that's just incredible. 1965. This was outrageous in those days. And now, one of the coolest things ever. I mean, look at that. Hey, so let me go over a couple of details of this particular Cardinal Red Firebird 3. In 65, a regular Firebird 3 would have two mini humbuckers covered in nickel. This one has two P90s with black covers. So we're calling this transitional. Also, it has the reverse headstock that a normal Firebird 3 reverse body would have, but instead of the big banjo tuners, Gibson started to cheap out and put the six in a line Clusons. Now, as a note, in 66, this guitar goes non-reverse. So the big horns here and the other big horns there, it completely shifts. And then it has three P90s and a non-reverse headstock. Why did they do this? Because this guitar was really expensive to make. This guitar is made out of multiple pieces of wood. This piece here is one big laminate that goes all the way, the neck to the bottom is I think one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. You can't see it on a sunburst one, you could. Then these two big wings are glued on the top and the bottom. So this was the basic structure of the guitar. And then these two pieces are glued on. Now that was an expensive process. Gibson, these guitars were a failure. Nobody really bought them. So 
They reversed the body. Now it's a regular guitar with a glued on neck, one piece body. They forgot all the reverse stuff and they just started making them. And even those weren't a big hit. Because, you know, it was just too crazy looking. Now we love it. Okay. Other thing about this guitar is it's so clean in the cardinal red. You just don't see them like this anymore. Here's the Firebird emblem, still nice and strong. And again, cardinal red, super rare, one of a kind. an interesting fact about reversed Firebirds from the early 60s. Let's take a look here. Now, if you look at the control cavity, okay, I'll take the plate off. There is a silver shielding paint that you could tell is all throughout the control cavity. Now, we're not sure why they did this in those days. It might be to control the humming because they did that for some guitars. But the way to know that it's not refinished is if this guitar was refinished, this would all be sprayed the color that it was refinished in. So this confirms that this is a 100% original red Firebird. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast showing you this guitar as well as my father uh, showing you some details here. This guitar is one of a kind, but I got news for you. We got a lot more coming. So you better hit that subscribe button, Mike Menza Music, and tune in because we're going to have another one coming at you quick. Rock and roll.